Hello everyone and welcome to CAD CAMC Tutorials. This is the first video in the quick tutorial series and in this video we'll see how you can twist any geometry using the Creo parameter software. Here you can see that we have first created one slab and we have twisted it. So let's begin it. So first we need to create this geometry and for that let us first close it. We'll go for file, select here new, select here part and uncheck here use default template. Click on OK. From this drop down, we'll select here solid part millimeter kg second and OK. Now, from here, we'll activate all the datum geometry. After that, we have to create the geometry, and for that, we'll select here sketch. Select here this top plane, sketch, and sketch view. Here, we have to create one rectangle, and for that, from here, we'll select the center rectangle and create one rectangle like this. Now the dimensions are this length is of 250 and this vertical one is of 80. After creating this rectangle, we'll exit the sketch. We'll go for the extrude. If we talk about the depth, then here the depth is of 10 mm. So we'll enter here 10 mm. And from this drop down, we'll select here symmetric. Click on OK. After creating this geometry, we'll go for the appearance. So we we'll select here view, select here appearance, from this drop down to we'll select here plastics and select here plastic mat. Now we will select here this green color. Now after that we have to select here entire part and click on OK. Now once the material is assigned, we will go for the model. In the model we we'll select here this editing and select here warp feature. Once you select the warp feature, you can see here different options are available, but you cannot select it. To select these options, first we have to go to the reference and first we have to select the geometry. So we will select here this entire slab. Once you select the geometry, you can see here that all the options are available now. Now we have to twist it, so we will select here this twist feature. Once you select the twist feature, you can see here that one axis is generated over here that you can see over here. And you can also see one circle that shows that how the twist will take place. So here in our case, we have to twist it about this vertical direction or the vertical axis. To change the axis, we will select here this button of changing the axis. Once you select this, you can see here that now circle has shifted over here. And also the axis is longitudinal axis now. Once we select the longitudinal axis, we have to specify angle of twist. So in our case, the angle is 60 degree. So we'll enter here 60. Once you enter the angle, you can see here that preview is available for the twist and it is what you need. After creating this, we'll select OK. So this is how you can twist any geometry using the Creo parameter software. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, then please hit on the like button, share it and subscribe to this channel, Catechemcy Tutorials.